Hey, what's up, man? And uh, welcome to today to hanging out with me. Welcome to Playtime with Crocs for three. Fam, it's taken me a while, like, even just to, to make myself do this. I have had to, like, delete a bunch of files. And uh, before I get started, so I was uh, overwhelmed. On where to begin, even like today's playtime, today's designing, even like what, what do I want to do? I have no idea, but I really want to play because uh, I have a bunch of things that I've tried to do and I've wanted to do for a while, but some of them have never actually made it happen. All right, <sighs> where can I begin? Let me begin from here. This is the last place I've been at. So, this is something I started years ago, bro. Like, Years ago, I don't know if you can. Years ago, man. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. Okay, all right. So I can. Let me see. All right. So I can zoom in like that. I've never actually known how to uh, design, uh, use the cursor and the mouse here. Check this out, man. This is me 2017, four years ago. And this is sometimes daily pieces of stuff that I make just to flex my creative muscles. And it will include from time to time me looking at my work and offering the much needed critique to my body of work. Included here in a image that I post on the Instapay design by Crocs, which uh, is now King Crocs. And uh, man, this is the process I started. I was very, very. I really wanted to have a daily process back in the day, man. And the the idea was very simple. The idea was I launch Photoshop and whatever, and I just play. I just flex for like an hour or less, and I would just be flexing. And this was the first day. This is what I did. Uh, and so I wasn't only going to use, say, like my my work. I was, uh, it was okay for me to just, like, pick a bunch of work and, and, and flex. And so this is one of my, uh, I, I, I really was digging this astronaut's image from online. I wanted to play with some of those astronauts. Um, funny, I never had names to this type of artwork. Maybe I should have named them. I had this one that was pretty simple and I was just flexing on Photoshop. This was a new technique um, that I remember even downloading this um, preset that I never even got to use. But I used it here. It was like a got skeletons in my closet and I was just flexing with gradients and it was cool. It was, it was flexing. I never knew where I wanted to go with anything and I would just play and play and play and play. And that's what uh, was coming out of it. Uh, this was one of those. Uh, this illustration, a uh, friend of mine made it. I made him do it. Um, we were pretty close back in the day, man. Uh, this was me flexing. And now that I look back, this is actually some really legit stuff. And I'd wanted to be able to, <laughs> to do this every single day, fam. Uh, but you know how how creative work be sometimes, man. And so this is uh, daily. I was calling a daily sketch. I was um, messing with a new color palette. And you know, so you know, I've always been sort of into design and stuff. This is uh, King Crocs, Spread Love. This is Jesus in the only way. I was coming through with my Jesus vibe and I wanted to put it out there that I was a Christian and stuff. Um, this is uh, my Nataka Shilingi thing. And I really wanted some moolah. Nataka Shilingis, I want shillings. So, yeah, man. Give me give me the bag. Give me the bag. This is Munde. Munde is another um, slang in Kenya for money. And then Chapakazi is this uh, make work happen. We just flex, man. Uh yeah, flexing, messing with ideas. Uh King Crocs. This is when I switched to King Crocs from you'd notice uh this was designed by Crocs and then I switched to King Crocs and then I used to have this and then this one will you dance. I started messing with some of my old photographs and then I just stopped for a little while. In fact, let's go to that page, you know. Let's just go to that page. 
Uh, yeah. And Instagram.com slash King Crocs. And then maybe I can create today. I'm looking forward to create. But I'm trying to put myself in that space of creating. Creating is such one of those things. Right? What happened is somewhere in the process, I wanted to mess with typography and I started changing. Even these are some ideas that I haven't posted out here. This is Phil's Nairobi. Where is this? Where could I have possibly saved this thing? Where could I have possibly saved it? Can I know? This one's another one. This is another one. These are a bunch that are not on my... Yeah, they're not here. Alright, so let's go find them. Let's go find them. Let me go back to projects. <laughs> it's so tough to find them because I might even have deleted them. The way I work, uh, the way I used to work. This is another project. It's, this is exactly what I thought I'm coming to do today. Um, I had wanted to start making um, carousels. Carousel, 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 carousel. I wonder if if I place this carousel here, if it would flow the way the way I'm thinking in my mind. So let's place this here, and you'll see. So there's one A. There's one A. Right here. Um. Then there's one B. This is my wife, by the way. Uh. This is my wife, and I started making a lot of, especially after I became a married man, I started making a lot of uh, material that, wait, there's something I'm missing. There's something I'm missing, and I don't know what. Okay, cool. It was a lot of work to try and figure this one out. So this is two. Let's try and ah no no okay fine so whatever. Since this is one not let me just uh then there's one C. I'll try put it in one line because it was it was supposed to be an Instagram grid okay. One C. Actually this is such a a long ago type project. This is from the beginning of last year, beginning of 2020. And I legit only made this one thing and, and quit creating for a whole year. <laughs> so it's been two years since I created. Some of those things make me feel real away about myself. Man. It makes me just wonder. Uh, yo, and then this was... And I'm going to share some of my influences. Cool. Look at that. If I didn't know better, I would say this is one continuous... So the idea is you're going to swipe, right? So when you swipe, you get this, and then you will have a part of uh, this, and then when you swipe, you get this, and then a part of this. When you swipe, you get this, and a part of that, and then a part of like this, and then finally the last swipe is just going to be like a half image. Let's look, look at that. So this is this, and half of that, and a little piece of this. I remember feeling very creative when I made this. And the idea was I wanted to start doing collages, like a bunch of this type of collages on my... Is it, is it even possible to find the, the whole... So this was the 3-pick Caruso, 9-pick Grid, 3-pick Caruso. Let, let's open this. Let's just open some old projects and see what we can uncover. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping this playtime is going to help me to start really make sense of a lot of uh, uh, this project that I, I've been trying to make and I'm trying to do uh, all my life, man, you know. So, yeah, surprise, surprise. what surprise surprise i have this entire thing on like whatever i wanted to do whatever i wanted to create i have it i feel so um 
embarrassed now. I mean, now that I know, like, I already had this project. <laughs> and let's turn this on and see. Yo, this is so embarrassing. How is it possible that, uh... Okay, so... Yo, fam. Fam, fam, fam. You have no idea how I just feel about myself right now. I feel like I've, uh... Really let myself down. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let me just really tell on myself. Let um, me open my, my my real gram. Okay, let's just open my profile in a new tab. And we'll go to... I haven't actually posted on Instagram. Like, posted like, we like two, one to twice this year. But I'd wanted to turn it into... <clears throat> yeah. This is it. So... If uh, the same year I had my son, so things just shifted. I stopped like really. So this is this is last year. No, this is the other year. This oh, this is last year, the beginning of last year, February. Really f- I feel a way about all this. So let's let's maybe create. Uh, so this was last year, and I made that, and and then I made this. And then I made this, right? So it was in February, right? Um, February 14th on Valentine's Day was the day I was going to launch my new gram. So let's look at the scroll, bar. man. It was, f- was fire. I really, uh, this is, look at this stupid, uh, this is really silly. I, I can always do better than this. Why didn't I clean it up? So there's one, two, three, four. Look at that, that's my wife. She's fine. And then that's me, I'm a baby girl. Right? And yeah, this is the thing. But now that I launched this old thing, I just remember, so this was going to be the first one, right? And then there's supposed to be the second one and the third one over here. And it's so funny that I actually never made this one happen. But but I think what, what might have stopped me from making it happen, this thing was supposed to flow. So this is the 9-peak grid. Let's uh, go to this and 3-peak carousel. Carousel, carousel. It's actually very... I'm so much better than this. I said this and this is it. Oh, and so I think this was me really... Um, just like messing around, really messing around and just like, uh, really knowing how it's going to flow. And I did some math to make this happen. (laughs) (laughs) Now I feel so shameful. I shouldn't have opened those. And I wasn't even, I wasn't even going to talk about those old projects. I was trying to get started on something new. I was trying to talk about... Um, so, so today, yesterday, I was feeling a little bit creative. Some A little bit of creativity came over me. And I felt like, yeah, let me, let me sit on the computer and create for a little while. And then the first thing that came into my mind was, hey, why don't you do... Um, I've always so and then so it really is coming up, back to me. I've always, always really wanted to do like this puzzle grid layout, puzzle layout grid for my personal gram for my Insta. Um, this project is just too late. It's like two years in, so unworthy. Now I'm a dad. My feed is less creative. <sighs> I feel away. Let me just suck. Let me suck that in. Let me suck that energy in. So what you gonna do about it now, huh? All right. So I was saying, I always wanted to do this um, puzzle grid type. So I came and was looking at it on on the gram on Pinterest, and I saw a bunch of this stuff. And so Casey McPerry, uh, I follow him, followed him for years, ever since I came uh, on the gram. And Casey has like an endless puzzle grid this dude is like the legit he's the king of the puzzle grid and he's kept up for all those years it's like it's it's his thing now right he's kept up for all those years from and uh, back to here 
and you're going to i wish i could show you uh casey mcperry's feed man look at that look at this for example so this morning uh, ah no not this morning this afternoon i sat down i was like let me let me just go on, on on pinterest and see a couple of things and then i'm gonna sit down and design and just make something happen and then i've discovered or uh, that i have a project already if i'm to post this project again i'm to somehow uh like delete all these things this is february i was supposed to sit down and make this project work <laughs> yo so the next time so let's look i wonder it's so long ago that i don't even know how i came upon you know like these ideas um it's such a long time ago man so i i think that one of the main ideas that i was creating here was that um so i'm also like a photographer dude right i'm like a photographer and i mess with like design and i had wanted a feed that represents my creativity um because i had also just evolved from a lot of um old portraits and i'd stopped making portrait work hey, let me just blow my own trumpet so those photos by crocs photos yeah so way 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 back it's now been more or more over two years ever since I, I i was shooting portraits i used to i used to do like a bunch of portraits work i used to feel really really nicely about this type of portraits work and i was actually very very like uh excited about this type of work right but then i stopped making portraits because i really want, i really felt just stuck i thought my work was never gonna grow i had the same gear I was shooting almost in the same type of light. My work was not growing. I was so afraid to experiment with uh with new um like processing new things. And you'd see here when I, when my wife and I so I stopped shooting portraits around here, right? And then around here. And then from here, and I was telling my fiance at the time, because I told my girlfriend we, we were planning to get married, and I was telling her, yo, so man, I want to be creative, but I feel such like a stuck to the work that I'm doing, and I don't know how to break out of that. Like my work, I feel like it's so silly and it's just stuck. And I'm so afraid to try new things. So how about if we, we started trying new things and I'll try and process you in, in a different way. I'll try things like this when I was processing things really, really dark. Uh, initially, I was, I was processing stuff uh, very, very, like, brightly. But then here I started processing things really dark, and I would add a lot of grain, and I would shoot just differently, and I started really messing with, like, this type of ideas. And I would shoot in the evening. I would look for light. And so this is me coming from qu quitting portraits and also just feeling like a huge um, creative power in me and back to photoshop quitting portraits being like a dance a trainer like a church person and stuff and then also running visuals by crocs let me plug another page of mine here um instagram.com visuals by crocs right mm, nice this was the next page I was really, really getting into. Uh, and actually, you're going to see this for considerable... So ever since last year, like for a whole year last year, until the end of the year, I switched from doing, from using my camera and I started doing mobile photography. And all this that you're looking right here is mobile photography on my iPhone. Everything shot on my iPhone. I stopped taking everything on my DSLR just to keep on pushing that creative edge. Just to keep on pushing that creative edge. And also because I had my phone, I had the opportunity and the potential to explore some of these like really, really random um, things like light and shadows, like just a bunch of textures. And I would really experiment with some of these things, right? 
and so i found a really also an amazing type of growth coming out of just me exploring light shadows textures light textures this is all mobile photography and i was really 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 inspired by these things and you just jump down here and this was a bunch of photography so this i was taking on my dslr and i was doing a bunch of photo walks now just keep trying to push my creative limits because i hated my portrait work all my portrait work i hated this work i never ever wanted to go back to make this kind of work i didn't know any other way that i could outgrow this kind of like even now when i look back at it it just it feels so amateurish you know uh i know like if i come back right now i can come back with a lot of maybe like a creative juice but it's whatever man it is what it is it was it was that time it's a long 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 time ago and it's part of my growth and it's part of my process all right so i went on and i was doing visuals and i was especially during this time i really grew in understanding light composition right and all that kind of stuff and also so still messing with a lot of my creativity and then king crocs took a whole so different time a turn when i was just uh, flexing here once in a while actually i do think i've been i've been very pretty creative through my life and um yeah this is kind of like i'm validating myself <laughs> right uh yeah yeah, I'm validating myself. Thank you for this validation sir, during playtime. But I really wanted to, to get stronger um, in typography. What happened during this season, I started designing um, church bulletins. And when I started making church bulletins, I realized how I suck at layout. And so I told myself I'm going to like make a layout a day and I'm going to try and make like 10. And I was just messing with a bunch of layouts. And uh, uh, This led me to read a couple of books on typography and layout and really helped me grow in this season of understanding type. And I'm really excited that I started doing this thing and playing with, um, with layout. And I feel like right now I have such uh, a stronger grasp on layout um, than I had before right so that was that and that was that um but it's interesting because i was doing this and i was posting on my uh, on this other platform and not posting on my main like on my main insta grizzle baby and i was also taking a bunch of these pictures and i wasn't posting on my main insta grizzle insta grizzle instagram gram but it was fun. It was so much fun. Nobody can tell me this work is stupid. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much more. So now, <laughs> we're now I'm launching this uh, like a one and a half year old project. Just feel like a shame, but also an appreciation because where I had wanted to take my grid was like so. I want to bring in everything. Okay, um, where's this one? Let's try and yeah i had want, i really wanted like to bring in everything now i wanted to take a bunch of things that um uh was were my influences and i wanted to bring them inside where is this what is this okay fine cool and like all these random things that i've done all this random creative work that i've done and i wanted to bring it in here somehow in this grid so the creative challenge was it's going to be um if let me see yeah see see i already planned it so the creative challenge was it's going to be a grid and then this grid is going to be a carousel so for example if i have this one this is going to have like a bunch of like other manipulations and stuff okay and now if i have also this one this is going to have like another bunch of manipulations and, and stuff and uh, i don't know how i was doing it um how did i work this out was it just a cool thing i don't remember how i, I don't I remember my process i don't remember my process did i work it out in here let's st okay so that's one I, I, I must have yeah so i think i worked it in here yeah 
here I think I worked it in here and it's very interesting what I did very very interesting to me what does this do it introduces another picture ah so I worked it in here so my thing was I was going to work on two Photoshop files this is just me trying to remind myself there's going to be this number one this is my 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 nine pick grid and maybe I'm going to group everything here and I'm going to call this group um, first uh, first grid right let's call it the first grid so it's the first nine the first nine somehow it's going to be the first nine okay and ideally it should flow so also in a strange way but I remember even thinking about that um, in a strange way but this image just kind of ends from here and then another one begins I think I must have been asking myself okay fine so what am I going to do um, here now that this image has to continue I must have legit asked myself that question and and also I must have wondered to myself how am I going to continue this as a as a as a, a swipeable grid I can imagine why this project could defeat me because it's a lot there are, there are a lot of things uh, okay so let me start removing uh, let me leave this one here let me remove that remove that remove that yeah for now yeah for now let me remove that remove that remove that what's that no that one should stay because that's going to apply to the next one stay stay so that's another one yeah remove that one but oh, this was an idea that I had uh, remove that remove so let let's and then let that stay remove that okay so cool so let's think about that so I had this to be my next grid and this is how like I think I was thinking about it oh and I don't it doesn't even have to fit that because there's a small part that could could carry on from this last image and I could I could just maybe do like a blend and I think I was frustrated because I was wondering okay fine now if I move this from like how is it going to swipe what's going to make it swipeable right so that must have been my question uh, I think I haven't studied enough of like people people's grids to wonder there has to be mm, has to be a thing right over here let me create a new layer and let me look for a brush So there have to be a thing. Let me get uh, just a hundred percent opacity somewhere here, right? So that thing in here, this idea, is the one that is supposed to join the swipe, this swipe, because this is the first one. There's something in here that has to. Uh, connect 
from the other one. Uh, so let's assume it's this one. There has to be a thing that it blends, and I wonder, I wonder what that could be. I wonder, I wonder what that could be. I really do wonder what this could be. What can I do? What can I introduce in here? You guys can already now see how I have such a confused creative process. Sometimes I always think that if I was just very creative, I wouldn't be going through this nonsense at all. This is the same thing. What? What is this? What is this? Let's take it. Oh, so this is the the whole image. All right, all right. So. Right, so what I did is I must have cropped it. This is so silly coming. I I can imagine why I gave up on this project. And also now, like right now, I have I have now a little a little boy, a little man. Uh, let me close this and try and think through. below what is this ah so i know i know what i did <laughs> okay so what i did the problem that i've told you so this is the problem oh i probably did did i execute it right so this is the problem i have an image i have this image but this image has to flow from this picture to this picture so there has to be something that first joins this one and the top one here so i remember making the decision to edit this hand of mine uh, this image of uh, my wife and I walking and this would be the image that would break uh, this grid and it would drop into the next one remember what we saw on our this one now so this image became the breaking one to drop into this one and once I drop into it I don't have to follow all those rules Whew should probably be writing this down all right let's go back to photoshop cool so now that i know what i did here i wonder if they are in perfect alignment i feel like they're not i wonder why why is it a zoom thing yeah it's really like a zoom thing or maybe I need to move it. And then I just messed it up entirely. Let me zoom in. Yo, even I could gi I could give up on this project myself. No one needs to make me give up on it. It's so messed up when you have a like even now I know just this is one of those creative projects that I've had in my life but I never made that happen. Yeah, you know. A brother feels a way about that. Okay, where did I go wrong? This is supposed to be somewhere up here. Let me just keep moving slowly and see if I could find it. Yeah. Do I think I've matched it correctly? Not really. Ah, uh, something must be a problem, but I don't know what. Did I zoom out? 
Yeah, but there it looks almost exact. Right there it looks. Oh, it's not. Hmm. How about it? This is the one that I mess. I'm messing up on. So that looks pretty close, right? It, it looks like it's legit. So now, I should be naming this thing sexy. I'll call this three instead of just DSC something. So now, I need something to break um, probably my hands. I need something that can break um, can break this grid, right? What could that thing be? What could that thing possibly be though? Oh man. When you if you don't get it, you're gonna get you're gonna quit in this project. It could so it could just be this extension. I think what what this project is forcing me is to think about like probably what I need to do is to think about the whole grid first and how they connect and then after I've thought about how they connect is when I can start editing so for example maybe I had I should have already had like a connecting factor here another image that I would like to be here that would connect this green leaf to the thing that I'm going to have in the green leaf carousel. What's that, bro? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> A gigantic creative project. Bro, two years later, it's when I'm coming back to this. It's so embarrassing, yeah? But let me see if I can I can redream if I can redesign this dream this new dream. So what else could end up here? How how about this? But two hands at the same time. Do I have uh? Ah, uh, too bad. I transferred a lot of these images to my other hard drive and I don't have access to it right now. Or do I? Let's see. Let's take this image. Up, 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 up here. And let's see. You know, like, what if it was here? What, uh, what would happen? What would have happened? If, uh... It broke into this this grid what would have happened so let's let's duplicate this and let's hide this and then let's rasterize this layer and then we're just going to take the, like the magnetic uh no the polygon no the normal lasso tool and we're just going to uh, roughly try and cut uh just so that we can start to have a sense ah I start to have a sense of how this project might be like and let's delete that mm, so I could really have this hand here and this could be like the connective thing between this and that what if I brought it in even more Could it work? Could it possibly work? Alright, so now let's jump in with our 
so how I cut images uh, is the first way I learned how to do it uh, on Photoshop and I've never used the pen tool ever again so like I knew I feel a way about sharing this process like this <laughs> on the internet people's gonna say yo doing it all wrong you should probably learn how to use the uh, the pen tool the pen tool is so much better and I remember, I remember I was talking to you Joe this week and he was telling me how ah like if there's one tool anybody needs to master is the pen tool I guess yeah I didn't say nothing I didn't say I'm a pen tool noob uh yeah what this project was going to necessitate for me especially was that i'm going to be creating a lot on visuals by crocs that was the idea and that's why i stayed on my page without posting for so long the idea was i'm going to be creating on king crocs i was going to be creating on visuals by crocs and uh sometimes i would go back and create on photos by crocs and then my main page Will be just a, a page where I'm flexing all those influences, and who knows? Maybe today is the day that uh, I'll actually get, uh, you know, get a hold of my creative powers and make something out of it. Who knows, man? But that tells you something. If like if I can I can stay with the creative project for like, two years. And then I decide that I'm going to dust that creative project off my digital shelf and start working on it again. That just shows you how me, like me, I have a bunch of ideas and a bunch of things that I want to do with my creative work and my creative self. One of the things, or I can say some of the things that really make this process hard for me, is just especially the idea of being a profession a creative professional and making money out of this i remember one of my my main goals the other year was just running turning into a studio and running my studio you know and even like this year i've had a lot of those emotions just come up you know like it's pointless to just create for the sake of creating when you're not even making no money from it I could rather do a bunch of really, uh, some type of, uh, I don't know, money type projects. So when I'm feeling like that and I'm watching Chris Do and I'm working on my business and I'm reaching out to people to do business for them and I have these projects lying somewhere on my computer, I just feel like this, this is cool. But I'm not an artist, and I'm not here to create, and I'm not here to flex my creative juices. I'm just here to um, like to be a business person, and like to to be an entrepreneur and to make money with business and stuff. And so, personally, for me, these are some of the problems that I encounter uh, in considering being a full-time creative versus being like a business person especially like right now when i have kids i have a, you know my wife and i we have a baby it's just such a tough thing to it just started like something that was a small thing in my head that right now i can't really create as much because i have a family and my family needs to eat and then that thing just keeps growing you know it just keep went kept on growing and growing and growing and growing and now we're here and having creative projects where you never launch for years and years and years and years because we'd rather be making money you know like I don't see actually I really don't see how I could sell any of I can, can't sell you can't sell your puzzle grid <laughs> But in, in moments of creativity like this, I, I feel so alive. So, and then I get to reflect on a bunch of things. I get to just, you know, think about just, just creativity in general. 
I love I love that moment when I'm thinking about creativity and I'm not really focused or obsessed with the um, business and then other times that's all I'm thinking about business my studio where is work going to come from what do I know about sales what do I know about marketing how can I be a subject matter expert how can I show myself as a subject matter expert Ugh. Similar thoughts are the one was that have led me to like really go hard at, at things like web development and, and be learning JavaScript and stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Those are the thoughts in my head right now. So I hate cutting things uh, like this because it just takes so much time and it's such a boring work. Because if you also again you want you're going to use this uh you might mess up if you're using this uh polygon lasso tool. If you just make a wrong click or a wrong double click, or oh, you have to start all over again. I've done that so many times. Like yeah, I just almost messed that up. Like I've done that so many times that I knew. Uh, but to me, this does a pretty good job of cutting uh, cutting away the background. I'll just look at that. These are probably some things I should have considered before I started, but it's okay, man. I will tell you I had an idea with my, and maybe that's why I ended up here, with my King Crocs, where I had really wanted to do photo manipulations and to make collages. Way, 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 way back in high school, I really wanted to learn Photoshop because I wanted to make photo manipulations. I wanted to manipulate myself next to like celebrities. I remember, especially Kerry Hilson. Uh, when I was 17, I had a crush on her, a celebrity musician. I told myself one day, and I started learning Macromeda fireworks. Uh, my dad had a old CD version of Photoshop 5. But I told myself one day when I'm able to um, to do graphic and to do graphic design. Oh man, that is the day. That is the day I'm going to Photoshop myself next to Kerry Hills. I never did that. Actually, never, ever, ever did that. It's a lot of fun to do whatever I'm doing. Even if, like I just said, there's no financial incentive. I can feel Chris Doe talking to me right now, man. <laughs> yeah, I can feel him say design needs to solve a problem. Yeah, and my baby's got to eat. That thing, that thing is so crazy, that thing... Of uh, feeding your family. So crazy. It's so crazy. Till I started wondering to myself if you can only be a real creative when like you're young and unmarried and stuff. Because it's so it's like it's so tough to to break creative limits when you're thinking about hitting business goals all the time. You know, people tell you you're not a creative, you're supposed to be a business person. So you hire out the creators to do a bunch of this type of work. Sooner or later, all you're doing is manage a bunch of people, manage a bunch of projects, and just conduct like sales. Which I guess, if you did that, at the same time, it's so crazy because if if you want to enjoy being a creative you want it to make money for you you know because if you can make money with creativity then we could buy bigger faster computers we could furnish a fancy home office so 
especially for me right now i want a nice nice you know those um huge lg uh monitors i don't know how many inches they are those super long ones i really want that i really want that in my life uh and like i'm i'm a faster just a faster pc a faster rig for everyday creative work i also want a home office and like a really sick home office with nice light and rgbs and a, a good gaming chair and i want to have three hours every day to just play and it's almost impossible for that to happen by the way um why why is that impossible i just feel like uh just the more i've been growing the more my like i feel like my responsibility don't even end and i wonder how many sacrifices artists and real like real creatives have to so yeah so this could be so this could have been let me let me remove this one this could have been the thing um that made this other one happen here and i could have had this one like a, a piece of this here and then I, I would have thought about and something else up here that connects these two like uh, maybe something else from here that could move from this and could come here like this a corner connector Let's make this pretty huge. Mm. Interesting. so let's bring this back on let's bring the duplicate back on and let's try and see if we could uh, how much did i actually zoom it in so this is the problem of uh, this picture is from a long time ago did my computer just hang on me yep it did Psh. should have zoomed them together see now these are problems that I should have solved still nope how can I just go back go back go back go back alt control z alt control z alt control z 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 um what Control Z, Control Z. Ah, uh, Control D. Window history. Ah, uh, history. Can I bring it back on? Can I undo? Can I redo? Maybe not. Ah, oh, that was a stupid move I just did there, my friends. I thought uh, I'm saving my image and I'm not. So let's try again. Let's delete this. 
let's put this on let's make it the right size that we want no actually this one control T all right so yeah, this this looks pretty nice this is big enough and let's assume I'm not going to change it unless nothing happens. So I'm going to do the same thing. <sighs> so let's just control. Uh, let's uh, duplicate that. Then let's first raise the top one. And uh, I wish I could just select this. Let's see. Let's look uh, magic wand. Hey, can you auto select this Mr. Magic one? No? Anything you need to do? Let's try the quick selection. Select this for me. Okay. Now add this and add that. Alright. Okay, cool. So let's just delete that. Shift control invert. Now delete that for me. Ah, there's some spaces that have been deleted that look now pretty ugly. But let me bring this one on now. And let me experiment with a mask. So I'm going to bring in a brush. I'm going to make it pretty huge. Not very huge. Uh-oh, what's happening? Control D and then select here. Yo, what's happening? Interesting. I never seen this before. Control D this is a mask brush. Oh yeah. Yeah, I need to select yeah, that was so wrong of me. I select the magic wand and I'm wondering what's what's wrong with me. Oh yeah, that was actually quite faster as compared to Okay, so let me bring it back. quite fascinating what you can do with photoshop like people people hate on photoshop because you know figma <laughs> but from this tool is a beast what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the no so the opacity will be 100 for like this first parts parts okay i'm going to make the opacity 100 and then just let that uh, work on its own. Yeah, whew, my computer is breathing firm. I, and I'm going to take the opacity down. And then start brushing like around here. Just you know, to bring back a lot of this area. I wonder what would happen if you know I brought back a lot of like this area assuming Yeah so this would be a this could be a pro this probably could be, could be a good place to start now. Now that I have this um this could have been a, a great place to start. Let me first pick the uh, moving tool. It's really a good place to start. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So the question now becomes, so what? What could be here, right? What could be somewhere here? We've started very well with a very romantic image. Is that the theme that we're going to co continue with, or what? Are, what are we going to do with something like this creative work? And I, I can, I can see why I was, I felt very defeated on um, day one. Um, So let me go back to brushing a lot of uh, this other part out. I'm just going to go back to 100. Just don't be afraid. Just brush it away. Brush it all away. Till all I see is you. Brush it all away. What an interesting image I'm left with. Yeah, so this could be something uh, that could blend this green. So this green, I'm just thinking how oh, this green could somehow blend into this. Let me let me group this and call this. Uh, what can I call it? Second. Hands and I'm go I just wanna so this this there's a green here, there's some green here, but then also there's some green here, and I wonder how these two greens could somehow blend. Could not yeah, it's okay man. So let me jump in here. And I'm going to select a very, very tiny brush and see if it could do some nice cleaning job. Mm, so you see that was even faster than... just want to clean out her hair and uh, you are seen some really sick Photoshop uh, worker works online that I've wanted to even also be one of those guys with sick Photoshop workflows ah, okay cool so somehow for some reason I've managed to make this green blend in with this green I think in my in my own, in my own you know in my own thinking so that's a whole hand I wonder if it's going to just be hands uh, but that makes also this first um, like square to, to be very complicated like to just out of the box to feel very complex. This is our first square. It feels fairly complex. And uh, I wonder what else now this other image, how, how, how else this image could evolve and it could grow. And it's, um, it's interesting. It's a very interesting creative challenge because this theme has to sort of... Uh, like grow properly, you know. And maybe this one can't entirely be also like a carousel. But I'd wanted every single image to be a carousel on its own. You know another thing that could happen is this could be a placeholder that when it stays on this grid, it flows into the other image. But during my new swipe on this one, it's still the placeholder, but it builds into a whole new 
world for example it builds into a whole new image right on its on its own on its carousel thing yeah that could be a thing i wish i was writing these things down because i'm getting fired up and uh man me don't know where i'm going with this i'm just i'm just going so like i said i need another i need to think holistically so holistically about this image that it also goes here and it also f- gets here let's uh, bring let's bring i wonder how people who make this kind of things all right so let's take this one yo my f- uh, some old friend of mine was hating and was really hating was saying like how come all you create is with with your wife you don't have other things to post I don't know. I was I was making this type of stuff. I was just newly married, and I think it's okay to like to infuse that into your creative work. This was really sick. I wonder if it can be bigger than that. What happens when it's bigger than that? <laughs> I used to. Things have really changed. Covid happened. I used to I used to run this um thing in charge with the teens. I had wanted to f- bring this one in. But how could something like this fit in a creative work like this? Just it feels so for now, do you know this is what I was coming to do when when I was trying to bring back this old project? Where can I take this image? I have no idea where I can take this image. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe I can take this is green enough. This is a very old image, man. I repeat to this phone. Let's uh, let's jump in there and see how how things are gonna look like. So this image ends. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, I could cut it here, right? I need to rename. I need to rename. I need to find a way to rename uh, these files. find a way to rename these files from ah nah oops Con- alt control z control d okay deselect so i want to go this way and then i want to start going upwards all right so let's just find it I'm so I'm thinking that by the time playtime ends, I won't have made any progress whatsoever. And I wonder if the next playtime I'm going to be coming back to to this, or I'm going to be exploring all all those other fancy things that are on my mind. Also, I'm pretty excited about uh, playtime with Crocs, uh, episode one was just uh, me talking about how I have all these ideas, I have all these creative ideas. 
and I was writing on uh, on my goals thing actually oh, for for a very long time for over 10 years one of my goals in life has been to be more creative than I am right now and I think in many ways I have achieved some level of creativity I think creative work can always grow uh, but yeah, I just I feel like I need now to fight even harder for my creativity. Because why do I need, think I need to fight harder for my creativity? Well, I grew up, got a family and stuff like that. Got dependents now. I feel 100% responsible for everything happening in my life and in my family's life. I, I I feel like like uh, if anything should happen to them, it's on me. And the same energy I apply to my creative work and everything I wanna be. I feel like everything I wanna be like is on me again. Money, wealth, success, creativity. I feel like that's on me, man. And so. You know, I was in reflect, uh, just reflecting the other day, like, I want all these cool things. I want to, I want to drive this nice car. I want me and my wife to get this nice house. But all my life, I just wanted to be a creative bro. Uh, but I also wanted to be a businessman, so it's kind of a crazy thing. Uh, but also, a part of being an adult is knowing what is your life. There's a quote by Steve Jobs. I think it was even on Apple's YouTube channel just the other day that I remember when Steve Jobs and he said, there's a quote where he says that a lot of human life is people just making it up as they go along. Everything that you see people do is just like they decided. They made it up. And it's interesting because uh, people who come up are always looking for like how it's always done. They want to follow in the footsteps. You, you know what I mean? Uh, like for me, I feel always, always, always feel conflicted because like I, I, I'm looking for models of people who... Um, showcased wild creativity and at the same time had like impeccable business acumen uh, do am i saying i have impeccable business acumen maybe maybe that's what i'm saying maybe i'm saying i just want to have those references in my life cool that was nice so i cut that Maybe I could also cut it downward like this. And then I would just be having like, um, a funny green plant with. And maybe I could also mask, uh, unmask around this area. When you look at Casey McPerry's, I think that guy should offer a masterclass in car carousels. Let's go back to to this one and let's take the brush tool and let's uh so let's uh kill the opacity and try and bring this back on. take it back so I can have a little bit of this and a little bit of that back in there um, 
Let's get really granular and kill this. All right, that's cool. Let's uh, let's close that tool. So the tools that I have in my disposal are I can I can mask things out. I can cut them out. I can paste others in. So this is a very green image, but um, I would want to have a, a bit of contrast in here. This is so pale and white, and I wonder what else could be here that could blend, or, or what could I bring in here that would have a lot of visual interest, and I have no idea. <sighs> this image of church that I really like is reddish. Maybe I have another reddish thing. Maybe I could bring that image of my wife up here maybe i could bring this one down maybe i could bring maybe i could invert it and put it upside down i wonder how that would look like let me duplicate that What if I decided that I wanted her here instead? <laughs> and that would mean another cutting out of cutting out of this space. See, we have a lot of a lot of blue denims and also like a lot of greens and highlights and I wonder how these colors could blend together and I got no idea the reason I had wanted to bring in this red was because of the contrast that would probably I would probably have on this green image uh, most likely I would have a lot of contrast on there uh, let me rasterize this image and then see how it's going to look like. Um, let me make a quick, quick cut just to see how it's going to look like. And maybe then I could clean it up real nice. So, I mean, I guess it could look nice. It would really be, like, really crazy. Yeah, but I could also show off my skills. I think this is creative work, right? <clears throat> nah. Let's pick the polygon lasso tool. Then let's jump here. It's really dope to play, man. I rarely let myself play nowadays. Either I'm too tired or I'm too focused on seemingly serious things. I found the only way to unlock like your creativity is to allow it to wonder and to allow yourself to be really wild and to create also i found this quite nothing worse than just getting inspired like inspiration is almost like for losers because <clears throat> first of all it's sucks that you're going to watch me take five minutes just to clean out an image but I was saying inspiration is for losers because man you just on IG or on Twitter or uh where else? Pinterest just getting inspired and not doing anything about that. It does not grow any of your creative muscles, it does not grow any of your problem solving uh muscles. So you just kinda know styles that exist out there but you haven't really flexed with those styles and they can't help you anywhere and you don't have a reservoir of tools that you could use i mean you know of it but you haven't played with it enough for you to know the limits uh of like playing with that type of creative potential 
and it just always feels like there's there's like a limitlessness to creativity and also like what i would say on my first play with playtime with crocs is that man i have so like my influences are just so different that if they told us to all create and they told us to all make something we'd all make different things like there's no way no way on earth to two creatives would um, be given the same type of tools and they would make the same thing I mean, I just want to come through like that, though. The problem is going to come when I spent all my life just flexing and playing like, like this, and then someone asks me, how much can you pay for you to do X? And I have no idea. Yeah, that would probably suck. That would probably suck big time. And I was getting mad at myself the other day when I started thinking just of those thoughts that I, I've been having lately about like um, business and art and how I could even have a, a bunch of text here. I, I could use it as a, as a sticker or something. One day, I was watching. One of the things that made me start wanting to do this is I've hung out a lot with people on live streams. Two hours, three hours, six hours, farm, and they just they they also don't know where they're going with something, and they just keep going. And you know, after you watch that for after a while, you say, "Hey, I could also be making my type of things." I know why I gave up on this project. And right now I have I have a little man, I have a boy, I have a son who's just about to turn one in just a couple of days. I was saying to myself how I'm going to be creating a bunch of assets for him and creative stuff and for him and stuff. <clears throat> but I just, just never did, man. That's why I think, man, that's going to sound silly, but business is good, just being like into business is so cool, but if you also want to make creative work, just make a creative work, don't worry so much about business, worry, worry about business when it's time to worry about business. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and we're just about to start doing something together. His name is Hugo Mitch. He now goes by the name Disrupt. And he's Mitch. He's... Bruh. Why is he calling? I'm going to have to post this video for this. Yo, just deleted that. Why are you calling me and trying to have that conversation end up on the internet? Because I'm going to try and cut these videos. I'm just trying to I create and go. I feel like uh, I really have nothing to hide. See, I was thinking about the other day about just that feeling of not being successful is such a horrible feeling, you know. Like you end up feeling that you just don't have it made and, and at all. And so just like someone who never made it, you start asking yourself, like, what's the point of even like hiding my work? I don't feel like I blew up. I don't feel like nobody knows about me and the things that I obsess about. 
So there's no point of hiding work. There's no point at all. There's no point. There's no point, man. There's no point, man. So let's delete that. And uh, let's see how that looks like. So this would be a very funky image. But what this image, what this image would allow is it would give me an opportunity to have these three corners to think about these three corners it would join this one it would join this one it would join uh, this one and i already feel like this one is pretty complete right i feel like this is you know, pretty complete and like i said i could have like this joining images just flow into into the rest of the image man i'm out of coffee Uh, also, there's a bit of contrast now here with the, the greenish yellow and in this pinkish red. There's a bit of contrast now. What else can I add in this image? What if... What if I took this image and I duplicated it, this group, and I flipped it horizontally? And they grabbed it. And I but but it was here instead. So I've lost a lot of uh, I wonder if now if I if I grab them both and really just slid them down. So this image doesn't balance. Mm, what am I gonna do? I'm thinking if I if I put it somewhere in the middle to balance. And uh, as a standalone image, it looks funny. I often think this is what like the creative people at uh, Nick Casey McFerry has to go through to figure out how these things are going to look like. <laughs> Very interesting, like the possibilities are so limitless, man. Yeah, we're bringing a few. Uh, whoa, which one is this one? Nice. Let me remove this one. I don't like it.
is some of my older portrait work. I wonder like how could it evolve and how would it bring in uh, some of my personality, man. Quite interesting. Quite interesting where I could take it. Uh, another thing that I'm learning from myself is that that creative work you don't need to have new work to create work you could also just create from old work that's very cool to know I've always like felt like if if I if I wasn't so s getting so stuck and I was just taking effort on all these creative ideas. <laughs> I would have such a fire grid. I want to do something like this. Well, with my my son's pics, I've been taking a bunch of his pictures, and I think it's time we did that too. Doing this project, it's coming alive now four years later. But doing this project, a personal project, has really unlocked a lot of my uh, creativity, and a lot of uh, giving me a lot of that creative power. Just a, a confirmation that, hey man, you're creative. No matter how it looks like, no matter what happens, I want you to know that you're creative. And it has been amazing to, to even think about that. These are all images I've shot this girl from when he started dating to when I married her. In about two years. Been together now for about five years. Amazing ride of my life. Right about when I was really, really adulting, just turning 25. And three years later, getting married. And just, now we're now a kid. Now we're the low man. Who is not here? Maybe that's another project I could get started on. Remind myself that everything you're doing right now. Uh... What can I say about this project? Let me just first of all save it. What can I say about this project? I don't know. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to do this. It's fun to play. Um, I feel something is missing. I don't know what is. But as soon as I nail, as soon as I nail this uh, frame. I want to move into here and start messing with uh, with other frames too and see how I can get that carousel going on. How many grids are this? Three. So those are nine pictures. Six. Six. And I could get them to ten. So, yeah. How how is that how is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can have seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Imagine making um uh, a a carousel uh a grid that's already yeah, you should see Casey McPerry's Instagram feed. He has a grid let me just just, just look at that uh do this legit creative and he has thousands of posts so when you view this post on like uh 
on the web it doesn't feel so aligned but when you view it on on your phone grid they have these spaces so it feels like a legit continuous grid and what i was saying is crazy yeah because he has video you will see look at that look at that really sick really really sick really really sick wow. the past week i just spent inside creating this little animation edit there was no reason behind this animation i was just messing around learning new skills and thought <laughs> should look cool so then kept adding to it i wish it could be longer but with the render times and simulation taking long time this was what i ended up with let me know what you think this reminded me of when i was uh when i was uh and now watching Chili Peppers music video Californication, losing my mind on the animation, crazy how far 3D has come, 20 plus years. So le- this dude legit made this uh, 3D. Oh wow, he did make everything from scratch himself. I mean, what? What? And these are some images that um. These are some images that are, are building up from from this one. And this one is from this one. I wonder how he thinks about um, the future of his edits. <laughs> Over the past four months, I've been learning 3D animation and VFX work. Thanks, everyone, for the positive feedback and encouragement. It has been so much fun to bring my ideas to life. We think it's important always to be learning new skills and push your creativity. Comment which animation you liked most from this video. Ha. I would like to be doing this. This also just goes to show you how... I don't know, maybe he gets paid to do this type of work, right? Uh, who knows, man? Oreos. Ah, look, that's that's fire. That's really really fire. <laughs> ah, just so mind blown. Thanks to Planet. Kind by Jilay for believing in me and allowing the freedom to create this 3D animated piece of content. Crazy, yeah. But I may think like this dude legit has years and years and years and years on this creative work for um like for brands to believe in, in him to do this type of work. I see like Mutua Matheka, who's one of my favorite creators, go this direction in that uh, he's now like being just hired by brands to be creative. Like who doesn't want that? Like your 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 own studio now. Uh, let me just pause and say it's such a grind to be this. Maybe that's just my fear speaking. To be this type of creative. It's such a grind, fam. Like, you have to eat, you know. And I feel so much, I don't know, emotion about that. Maybe there's just a shadow of mine speaking. Hey, well, I'm going to end this uh, video from here. And when I come back, we're going to pick it up from here. I'm trying to think what I can do. But that was a cool playtime with Crocs, but three. I'm uh, bringing up old projects and realizing I have so many other projects that are undone. Hey, make sure you go out to my YouTube and you check out Playtime with Crocs.
I had day one where I was just sharing how I'm about to start doing this and then I have day two where I was jumping in there and just like making it happen with the with with the Windows 10 UI UX and today jumping back into Photoshop playing with uh, with this carousel grid and my hope is that I'm going to be doing this every single now and then one of my dreams is to create every day one of my dreams is to create every day and I really want just to put myself on because now there's no point because now I, I said somewhere in this video that I'm I'm responsible for my own creativity and responsible for my own happiness so I just feel like uh I especially feel like I'm just so responsible for my creativity and where I take it. And so there's no point of me like uh, waiting to have a week where now I'm jumping deep into creative land. I think it would benefit me a lot if I would jump into creative land every day. And since I have so many creative influences and so much inspiration out there, why not just do it, right? M music inspires me. Music covers inspire me. Creative people like Casey McPerry are uh, legit, legit creative dudes inspire me. Uh, Ose, travel photographer, inspires me massively, man. He's like uh yes, now he's called just calls himself an entrepreneur. He inspires me massively. He does travel type um creative work, but he's always creating man. They are always creating, they're always on the move. And yeah, maybe maybe I'm I'm gonna have the energy to to jump back and create like this. <laughs> that was cool hanging out, that was cool just you know uh getting into it like that and just talking to you and having a blast i'm so grateful for this opportunity and i'm just gonna i'll uh, go get more coffee and maybe we're gonna hang out later so see you and can't wait to do this next time